We're just doing some donuts over here while looking to see what it's like inside the driver's seat from my remote. Ha <laughs> ha. Very, very nice. Eyeballs just taking these turns like it's absolutely nothing. So these little Arma Groms have been growing in popularity and it really caught my eyes. And since I've had my eye on it for quite a while now, ever since it came out, that kind of struck the idea to make Project Eyeball. Now Project Eyeball allows you to see anything that it sees three different ways. And with that being said, I have a brand new awesome remote that goes to it. And well, this is also gonna be a review and run video, not just of the Mojave, also of the new remote that I got. Now, if that seems interesting, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. Also, if you haven't seen Innovation RC on Instagram, make sure you uh, check it out. We'll have more pictures, videos, and other cool things on there. So have a look. This guy is the brand new Arma Mojave Grom. It is literally a micro Mojave. Now the purpose of this little dorsal fin on the top of eyeball, you guys can see there is an extra antenna coming out the top. Right beneath that, we have a little FPV camera. Actually, I was able to remove the, uh, the driver head and uh, <laughs> conveniently put my own little uh, FPV camera on there. Now, that little FPV camera actually goes and connects with the remote that I got for this thing. So I did have to remove the remote and the receiver, well, the ESC receiver, because this has a two-in-one kind of thing. Body comes off, you hold those two tabs in at the side, and bam, whole thing just comes off. If you guys could see, I have a Mamba X ESC. It's a 10-scale ESC with a rather very tall fan. Now, you can't get that set up in here unless you cut the, um, what's your call You cut the little plastic stuff around, and you have to pretty much make it able to breathe and that's what i really wanted to because the stock mojave grom body you really can't cool the electronics off yeah you could have all the fans in the world but there's no cool air coming in so that's really what i wanted over there plus i trimmed a little bit off the top just so that the fpv camera can get some cool air because it's about 100 degrees here in florida so every little bit helps and we are running the stock motor and yeah you're not really supposed to run it up to 3s but i will say it handles it rather well but i will certainly tell you don't run it on 3s it's made for 2s and you can still run that to a brushless ESC. You just gotta configure the settings in order to get it to work right. And we are just running a 3S LiPo in here. Uh, and there's also a little tiny flat one cell that actually powers. You can see this little thing, little connector plugs into that and then bam, that is what is going to power the little FPV camera. Now it does not have a lot of runtime, so I do have my DC charger to top it off just in case, but either way, shouldn't be an issue. Ah, that was just so easy and quick and simple now what i'm also going to be testing out today is this brand new remote that i've received from radiolink it is the rc8x and that will be replacing my futaba it comes in this beautiful case everything obviously is really nice padded um insulation inside the case as well you have a bunch of extra things over here i'm going to be going over all these wires also now i just moved that little aluminum thing you have your own little mount here so you don't have to drill into the remote at all i have little standoffs just so that it doesn't rub up on whatever i lay it down on you know just easy simple stuff other than that i did nothing to this remote it is completely bone bone stock until i put a larger antenna and boost it but if you guys can see you have literally so much going on here and the quickness of this remote is actually just super duper nice you can see you know as soon as i give my input it just gives it shows an output instantly which is super duper nice i can hit that right there and then it gives you your whole menu scroll up scroll down and it's just super duper nice you have all the adjustability in the world honestly i don't need anything more than this therefore my futaba is up for sale now because i will be boosting this that will actually replace all the other speed run cars receivers this remote you're getting for under 300 bucks you really can't beat that period end of story plus the receivers are super duper inexpensive now if you guys notice i have a little red mount here that's actually for my gopro what i'm holding right now currently i just mount it and i um you know i just shot a couple holes through the little battery uh cover slot and it just mounts right here whenever i want to record for youtube and it's just super convenient now before i get into all the ways of well receiving the video data and doing the whole fpv thing i do want to get a uh, speed run with the mojave grom stock motor stock gear just a different ESC on 3S. Yes, so we're gonna start with the speed run, then I'm gonna get to all three of these different ways on how to look at eyeball through his eyeball. Now, if that seems interesting, make sure you drop a like 
and subscribe for more. Well, this is not really too efficient of a way to uh, put a speedometer on here, honestly, a little GPS, but it's not gonna go anywhere. Small car and you're pretty limited with options as to where you're gonna put it, but as long as it doesn't go anywhere, we are all zeroed out. We're running 3S, stock motor, stock pinion gear, uh, different ESC just to handle the 3S. So we're gonna see how fast we could go on 3S right now. We're also gonna be seeing how uh, how far down we can go. Wow, yeah, I'm pretty down there. I can barely see. Looks to be about a quarter mile. That That's at least a thousand feet. At least a thousand feet right there. But uh, I'm sure I could go further, but I really can't even see the thing. Here we go, Mojave Grom stock motor, stock pinion gear on 3S. Let's see how fast we can go. <laughs> straight as an arrow great little car great great little car here's eyeball <laughs> that is awesome Woo! this little thing scoots for what it is all right let's see what speed uh let's see what speed we hit Woo! probably got up the brakes a little bit and uh there we go 33 miles an hour that is actually a pretty pretty darn good speed i love how the front end just lifts up that's just like a legitimate uh short course truck oh that's so cute <laughs> handles just like a short course truck very nice a little bit of off-roading it's struggling but it can still do it <laughs> Now the first easiest way to receive the video footage directly from the FPV camera, you could actually split the screen by adding this little uh, Wi-Fi VTX receiving module or whatever they call it directly to this. And it will actually split the screen from what you normally see and you'll actually get an actual live view of whatever the uh, FPV camera sees. And that's honestly cool as heck. Like you just get to look down on your remote and bam, you can see what the thing sees. Another thing, well, I call these things stupid goggles. And the reason why I call them stupid goggles because well if you wear them you look kind of stupid these things are pretty barbaric and it is also really old this goes to my really old drone back in 2016 i think all i got to do is hit the little scan button on there i don't need this and it just hooks right up to the little fpv camera right on there and it's actually kind of cool how easy and simple that is believe it or not but you're gonna look stupid. So this right here receives a video directly from the FPV camera that gives it to the remote. Now, you can also use your phone if you download the app. Uh, you can actually use this cable right here, plugs directly into here, and bam, you're basically turning your phone into one of these little receiving things over here by using this directly to that. So you can actually see whatever the FPV camera sees from your phone or from the remote or from the uh, stupid goggles over here. <laughs> all right, so we have our battery hooked up. If you guys can see the little 1S over there, all the way to our camera. We also have the uh, the little receiver that's going to my phone over here. Um, now, you guys can see this app. We open that, access camera. Oh my God, he is ugly. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> so now I don't know what's up with the audio, but this is actually now receiving information from that. If you guys could see over here, it's really hard to see, but hello. <laughs> that is, uh, that's something else. It's pretty cool. You could actually record off the app as well. So what you do to record, you go down here and then you also hit the little record thing. Now it's actually uh, recording. If you guys could see over here, let's just do a little spin around. This is a little test, very short test. Now we hit the record again. Everything is saved. Now I'm gonna go to my, uh, Oh, that might be the thumbnail of this video. <laughs> but you guys can see, now I already have, and it's quick. It is super duper quick as well. All right, so now we have our little receiver hooked up to the remote. You guys can see audio and the video cable is all hooked up. Instantly, it's gonna bring you to this. You hit okay, and bam, it splits the screen once you adjust the settings in there. Play that on here. You just have to select it in the settings. Um, very, very cool. You guys can see from my remote. Ha <laughs> ha, very, very nice. All right, so I'm scanning. It's really hard to see in there. Really hard. Come on, let's get a connection. Can I get a connection? Oh, is that it? I believe that is it. Look at that, and bam. 
I just had this eight-year-old FPV goggle stupid headset looking thing actually sync up to something from today like that. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than that, but I could already see exactly what's going on in there, as well as it being broadcasted to the remote. First person view of exactly what eyeball sees. So let's hop right into that right now. We're still connected on our cell phone over here. We're gonna hit record one more time. And uh, <laughs> it is super easy to do, it really is. Look at that. We're just doing some donuts over here while looking to see what it's like inside the driver's seat. Man, it's making me dizzy. Look at that. <laughs> that is just too, too funny, guys. It really is. Oh my God, this thing also handles really, really well, too. For what it is, the little mini Grom, the micro Mojave. Whee! Just going all, oh, we hit something. But we're still good, we're still going around. <laughs> Nice drift. This thing just handles actually really, really uh, well. And we're back out on the, uh, on the track, and I am really just impressed about this, how easy and simple everything is, how quick everything uh, receives information when it comes to this receiver, and what's on the little uh, FPV camera that's inside eyeball over here. All the latency issues, there's really not many if you're standing right out here, or right next to it, you know? So if you're crawling, and you wanna like, you know, actually go out over here, this is cake, this really is. You could just sit down and do all that kind of stuff. I'll try to go for a consistent lap now. We're just gonna go around here, around halfway. Easy drift in the little lima beam curve. We're gonna drift out on here. We have our main turn coming down the stretch. Very, very easy to handle. Cut the turn in easy. Coming out lightly, gonna cut the turn, drift into the next big turn. Look at that, as it goes around, very easy to maintain and stabilize. Drift around the turn, drift around the corner. Eyeball just making everything <laughs> in his height. He's able to steer around everything because he is eyeball. <laughs> that was just a great turn right there too. Easy drift right there as well. Eyeball's just taking these turns like it's absolutely nothing. <laughs> very, very nice car overall. And I will certainly tell you guys, this Mojave Grom is just sweet. It really is. Now as for this remote right here guys, the RC8X, really is an awesome, awesome remote. And as you guys can see, I still have the whole FPV thing hooked up as I was actually running around and bashing it. So the whole eyeball principle concept behind this, the whole FPV thing with this radio link RC8X, I, it's just very, very solid. It's pretty solidified. Great remote, great car. This is an awesome project and I'm really happy that everything went well. All right, so that will conclude Project Eyeball. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. I'll also have a link if you wanna buy a Mojave Grom here or the beautiful Radio Link RC8X remote below. So make sure you check that out. All right guys, so as always, make sure you stay safe and have a good one.